Hi guys, Darren from MRT here. Have you ever downloaded Railroad & Co's train control program and thought, how am I going to learn how to use this? In this series of tutorials, I'm going to help you to go from this to this to achieve your railroad dreams. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and tick the little bell icon to get notified of my future videos. Okay, here we're going to download uh, from frowall.com and go into the products tab. Um, we've got various products here, Dakota programming, model rotor control, sound. We're going to go into the model railroad command. Um, There's actually quite a bit of information here, so if you just want to scroll right down to the bottom, uh, there's three versions of train controller. There's bronze, the cheapest uh, train controller silver in the middle, but we're going to download train controller gold. And you can see at a glance the, uh, the, the different versions and what they do. So we're going to go on to click into gold and scroll down to the bottom. And that's obviously some um, things we can achieve. So there's the gold character. Down the bottom there you can show features and you can have a comparison of what uh, each version is like. Now for here we can price up from where you're, what country you are from. So obviously Australia here and then you go to the download English or Deutsch, go OK, agree to all the terms and conditions and go next. Um, you can obviously browse and save the program to your desired file. Now the, on this particular one I'm going to uh, create a symbol to the desktop and click register to the file type and then push start and that'll uh, start the download or unzip the file. Now this uh, this version here is I mean I've just got a few other um, updates to do that's when you get this screen but uh, just go next through it and then finish and then start train controller after termination okay after you push the the finish or the start button it's just a matter of waiting uh, for the, the program to boot up depending how quick your computer is um, so here we are now uh, you get the first screen um, if you've actually bought and have the dongle you go to continue after you plug the USB in you can order it from now I'm just going to continue on in demo at this point in time uh, wait for it to alright guys when we open up uh, train controller version 9 this is the, the first screen we get with our south town as you can see we've got obviously a lot of information that slowly over this course of this uh, these tutorials will go through exactly what all this means um, I'm not real keen on the look of this version and all they call it the ribbons um, so I normally go in and I go file user interfaces and I go back to the classic interface from train controller 8 and I think that just looks a much neater go a lot further with customization of uh, your switch bit and your, your over interface these toolbars at the front up the top here we can we can drag them up we can do all sorts of things with them so as you can see we take that line away it just gives you a little bit more extra space you obviously it's large layouts uh, like mine you'll take this whole screen up quite easily from here we can look at customizing the actual color and the appearance of the switchboard itself so I'll show you how to do that so we'll start by changing the background color so we'll go to view to switchboard to customize and what they'll do when that's that screen comes up okay so customize switchboard so from here this is where we can change names of uh, the individual switchboards you can change the symbol size so that's 20 by 20 that's normally what I use you can go as low as 12 by 12 or blow it right up um, if you've only got a small layout now you'll see the the little screen here and the background is obviously showing white so Okay, from there we can go to the highlighting tab, uh, turnout status. So the turnout status you can see that currently is red. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly show down. I'll show a color that's quite easy to see, so black. So it changes it obviously to black. Um, then also we can look at the active routes. Now, obviously this is a little bit beyond what this basic tutorial was about at this point in time, but routes become more apparent when we start talking about schedules and the way we run the railway. Um, various ways we can do that so then from there we can go to what the blocks look like so blocks are within train controller are these these boxes here so we can have we can change the colorings and what they look like regarding when they're free so it's like that uh, creamy color and then if they're occupied when they've got 
a locomotive or something that's got some sort of occupancy detection to it we can change the color I always like to show the name if not reserved so what that does is it will show that main main line east type name all the time so what we do we'll, we'll X out of that or let's connect a digital system so you go to the railway tab at the top scroll down to set up digital systems and you'll see it'll default to the lens system so we're going to go and change that and so you go select digital system you can see various level there's Roco, Fleischmann, ESU, Digitrax, Loconets, Pico, Rutenhaus and the like um, my system is a LDT which is Lefinsky which is a German brand which is a S80AN protocol uh, which is sort of in the middle there so if your DCC system does not show on that list there's a good chance that it's not compatible so we'll go and click on that and they're the various so mine's the HS, HSI88 so it's a USB device so if the USB is installed properly you select okay we'll now set up my primary DCC system uh, for train controller so what you do uh, you go into the railroad tab scroll down to set up digital systems and you come up to the same interface that we did before to set up my LDT so we'll go add and you do the click down box select digital system so Roco and mine is the, the capital Z21 now this is the uh, the IP address that you need to put in so depending on what your network says or most people keep it to the default so that is 192.168.2.254 from memory uh, obviously that changes depending on uh, your, your individual setup so you go OK and OK and that has set it up so the next logical question is how do I know whether my DCC system has been connected correctly so just to let you know this computer is not actually connected to my main layout at this point in time so how you do do that so down at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you'll have this little offline button so if your DCC system is connected correctly you'll have a little word or text saying online what you do is hover over the little green dot and just let the mouse go because it can be a little bit temperamental so it will show you all the digital systems so you can see my first system we added the HDT or the Lefinsky HS88 it's showing offline if the USB is connected correctly and you're live with the layout connected to your interface uh, that will show online and same with the Roco Z21 um, for whatever reason if you don't have that particular little status bar down the bottom uh, what you need to do you come up to the window and window status sorry my bad uh, so if you go view and go toolbars and that one there needs to be needs to be lit up so if I teach that off see how it's now gone so we go back up to view toolbars and then status bar so sometimes for some reason that just disappears but it's just easy enough just to add it back there Another way I like to check see whether the, the DCC system is operating correctly. So my Z21 from Roco controls my, my track bus, so it effectively controls the trains. So I like to switch the power to the layer on and off, which you can do through train controller. So just up here on the left hand side, you'll see three buttons. So the red ones obviously switch power off. So if we give that a tick, and you should see in the bottom corner here, how the light here has popped up and a little word stop and furthermore I'll embed into this on the right hand side you'll see a picture of my Roco um, so what, what the Roco Z21 does when you turn the power off the little blue LED starts to flash to switch it back on the green arrow with up and what that does it'll turn the DCC system power bus back on which then turns the blue LED to a solid blue LED. 
uh, to test the LDT system which basically only controls on my layout the points or turnouts and my signals it's a bit difficult because we haven't set up any turnouts properly yet with DCC so what you would do I'll go into this in a, in a subsequent video but you pretty well you double click on one of the turnouts and this is where we'll go into but that's obviously for another video okay guys that's the end of uh, video number one for MRT model railroad techniques please subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon if you want to see receive further notifications of upcoming videos the next video I'm looking at is just having some fun with some trains uh, drawing some track bands like us on Facebook if you've got any comments please comment